Damn, that's more than what I wanted to cut. Should have brought a rod power saw. Fuck, you got one, man. Yep. Because you don't ever ask for it. Well, I don't think. This remember. shit would have took two seconds with my freaking saw. I don't remember you ever having it. It's a problem. I don't even know if you're going to be able to reach that with that. Yeah. I'm getting all gouged up today. Aren't you gonna have to take both of them off there? Yeah. Why don't you just cut them both at once? I don't know. You want me to climb that tree with my corona and do it? I have to now. <laughs> Sure. Yes, it'll clear the truck. It's going to fall down right there. Now, if it's top heavy, it could roll over and smash your truck, but I doubt if it's top heavy. Just cut it. It'll make for good video. <laughs> If you get tired, you want me to cut, I'll come cut for a while. I had three hours of sleep. Huh? I was tired before we got here. Here, let me walk out in front of you before you cut. It's hard to cut.
Now I'll just get that chainsaw out and cut this sucker up into smaller pieces. Bad thing about using a chainsaw is the oil. It always leaves burnt oil smell everywhere. No, yeah, they don't care. Well, you say that, but you don't know. When's the last time you asked a deer? Say, hey, do you mind the burnt oil smell? Yesterday. <laughs> I sent him an email. He probably got it. Because I'm telling you, I think that giant tree down there is a porthole to a different dimension where deer are actually intelligent. Well, it probably is. And they're coming through to here. Yeah, it's big enough for a deer. Yeah. The but the problem is, though, is as soon as they come into, come into the Earth, this dimension, it probably has a, a lack of oxygen or nutrients in the air, so they get stupid real quick. Well, that blends in with half the other world, so. Yeah. Population. I won't get political, but. <laughs> Don't do that for Christ's sake. You in a video? Anyway, uh, squirrel just got done by Russell. Red Bear's Outdoor Adventure. <laughs> squirrel either way. <laughs> I call him Squirrel. He, he's, my, he's my friend, so I, you know, I call him Squirrel. But anyway, uh, he just got done trimming up that tree right there. And he about mowed me down. That branch started falling his way. And I was standing over there, and he just about mowed me down. And I was like, oh, man, he's going to knock me over. I'm an old guy, you know, I'd break a hip. And then he had to drag me out of here. You know, it'd be crazy, like some poor movie or something. Who knows? But anyway that done we're gonna chop that stuff up and get it out of the way and get this stand up and hopefully he'll let me have a sandwich i mean it's probably what two o'clock now i'm starving to death mm, I'm you know mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways just another little update 128 all right here we are again russell here obviously got the tree trimmed i had to trim one more branch i didn't want to but i just knew it was going to happen you gotta drag it out of the way. Ruined a perfectly good tree. <laughs> I ain't got no cover in that tree whatsoever now. It's all gone. I'll have to figure out something. But I, there ain't no place to go here. I wouldn't be along this creek line, but it's 200 yards that way before there's a tree, and 200 yards that way before there's a tree that's good enough. And the good ones are all on the other side of the ditch. And I, I don't want to be over there. I can't cross that in the morning. I could, but I'm lazy. Put it like that. But, so here we are. About done. Then I gotta feed this man. I need a sandwich. <laughs> I gotta eat my bologna. Oh, fuck. Whoops. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, and I'm thinking, boy, I hope them trees heal up real quick and keep growing. These trees? Yeah. You do realize in another fucking 40 fucking years, 50 years, that tree will be worth more than your fucking house, eh? What tree is it? Walnut? Walnut. Walnut's high wood. Yeah. And here I am, butchering it up. Cutting it to fucking pieces. <laughs> Limb walking. Well, I'd leave it right like that. I would. I ain't lying. I'd leave as much of that on the ground as cover as you can so it looks natural like the limb broke out of the tree. And maybe your relatives won't come over here and go mad on you because you cut down one of the good walnut trees that they could have made money on in 20 years. <laughs> Just saying, squirrel, you know? Whoa. Wait a minute, I'll help you here.
right here, so you've got a chainsaw, and it's got a natural V if you cut that out of it, and you can put it out there and lengthen it and not. And I brought screws and a drill and everything. Is my Corona in there and the seat? Grab that Corona real quick. It's in the truck. Your side or my side? Yeah, that's not good.